Welcome back to my channel. This is Jennifer from Happy Place Planning. You can find me over on Instagram as well as here on YouTube. And I'm here and there in different Facebook groups as well. And I'd love to chat with you if I see you around. Um, but thank you for joining me for today. I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my traveler's notebook setup. So in my previous video where I shared setting up for the month of March in my traveler's notebook, um, I did mention that for the month of March, I wanted to switch out my weekly insert. So I had been using this weekly insert from Anthology Notes, and it's working well for me. I'm just in the mood to try something else. Um, so I'm going to take that out to reference, but I will be replacing it with my Coco Daisy Daisy Dory. And this notebook um, is very versatile. You can use it as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, or you can set it up. Um, I've done like a day per page planning. I've done four days on two pages, um, but you can do anything that works for you. And I had mentioned in that previous video that I liked certain things about this insert, um, the tracker and the room for the to-dos. And I had also ordered this insert from the Paper and Cats and I kind of liked this little skinny section for the timed appointments along with the open section. And I had the idea to take these two inserts and kind of make them my own, combining them into the Daisy Dory. Um, so first up, I'm gonna set up my week with a small portion over here for my timed appointments and go ahead and get my um, date circles down and we will go from there. I was going to make this exactly the same, however, um, I don't want my Monday to be up here in this decorative section. So what I'm actually going to do is split these bo this first box here into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, Friday, Saturday, and then have just a little box probably for Sunday over here. And I do subscribe to several of the Coco Daisy sticker kits. Um, I'm gonna pull some of those out now to use. I can tell you that I will be using two sheets from the planner add-on kit, these with the days of the week. And this one that has the date dots. And then I'm going to be using this whole section for a to-do list for the week. And I'm going to label that with these um, cute little stickers also from the planner add-on kit. And I think I'll just create a little list right here with that sticker. And now I'm going to lay, lay out what I need to get done at some point in the week, but they aren't day specific.
Now, as the week progresses, I'll have more um, to do list to list there. And then I think now I will go ahead and add my timed appointments to each day. And then the thing I liked about this insert so much was the room for the tracker. So I'm gonna move my tracker over to one of these Coco Daisy stickers um, from the Classic Planner Sticker Kit. And I'll use this one. I'm just gonna put that down here in the corner and then write down um, what I wanna track for the week. Daisy also offers a printable tracker that you can um, download in a variety of different sizes. I picked the classic vertical 7x9 um, tracker and I'm just going to trim one of these off and use it up here to track my scripture reading for the month. So off screen I'm going to go trim this on my paper trim. Here, as I'm sitting here thinking about this, I was just going to pop it down right there to fill that space, but since I really want this to go throughout the whole month, I'm going to be using this page previous to my weekly planning pages um, as a sort of monthly um, catch-all, so I'm going to go ahead and use my Elmer's tape runner and just go ahead and glue that down on this page. And then I do what I call a weekly reset each weekend, which is usually Friday and Saturday, um, just to get my stuff at home ready for a smooth week. So I'm gonna use one of these clipboard stickers, again, from the Classic Planner Sticker Kit, list out those items, and put that down on my weekly view. Now, I think that that is pretty much it for setting up my week view in my traveler's notebook. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that back into my system here. The good thing about um, already having dashboards in here is that they hold your place, so you don't have to dig around for the elastics. They're super easy to find. Um, but that was a way that I combined a couple of inserts um, into my Daisy Dory. Again, super versatile, um, but I like having the skinny days of the week and room for trackers. And then the thing that I liked about that other insert was the open space that it had. So I can go back and add some journaling or some pictures. Um, if I have more to do, so I have plenty of room for that. So I thought that was um, a fun way to set up the standard Daisy Dory. If you guys have questions about anything, let me know. And thanks for joining. I'll see you back next time.